Hi crafters, this is Pam, Pam's Paper Place, and we're going to continue on working on our large folio here. And I did glue this on. I decided on the brown button there. And I also found this. I know somebody sent this to me. I'm not sure who. It could have been Dale McVeigh. And I know I want to put it somewhere, but I'm not sure. Kind of looks good there. Kind of looks good here. So I'm going to wait when we embellish. Come back and embellish everything. <clears throat> then I'll do that. And then I found I had another page like this, this one. So I could cut out these little clothespins here. Because I want them, I, I put this paper over the clothespins here. And I added that journal uh, word. So I just want to add this over the top so it still looks like it's close pinning this little sign or note. Uh, oh, there it is. Look, these are so little. I'm surprised I haven't lost it. So I'll just put these little close pins back on. And then once we've got all the pages and flips and pockets added, I'll come back in and uh, embellish more. Yeah, I think that looks better there. And then I did add some of this green trim here. And this you can just get at, oh, I know, I think I got it at Hobby Lobby, this green vine. And they have a lot of sales. So, um, Merchant 41. I just added that along here. So, let's open it up. And we're going to go to the last section that we need to work on, which is like I did in this farm journal here, where it flips up, flips down like that. You can't see it all. But this is what we're going to work on. This part that's nearest the flap. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> I have some coffee here. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So the first part we're going to work on is this one. And we're going to work on the flap that will be down here. Is that right? Is this the one? Yes. And this one will be, I believe, this is the one here. I think so, but why does this look longer? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, that's it. So this one is, let's see here, 12 by 5. So just measure paper 12 by 5. And then we're going to score. You know, look whatever direction you want. And I did find some double-sided paper because it's just going to be easier. So you don't have to, uh, you know, so, because you're going to be seeing a lot of these flaps, the underside. So now you're going to score one end of this to make a little gusset there. And we're just going to go like a fourth down and another fourth down or half inch like that and then so this is going to be our little gusset here so you'll have two folds like that and then we are going to, from the end that is not scored, 
we're going to score that at five and a half. Okay, I'm going to fold that in half. Okay, so now what we have, we're going to glue the gusset part down. So this little end here is what we're going to glue. So let's just do that. Okay, and we'll line that up to the bottom here. You could do it to the very end or almost to the very end. Just push that down. Kind of hard working with such a big folio it's hard to get it all on screen so you just have that bottom glued and then you have your gusset here and then this will come down and then this will fold out so it'll fold in and fold out Okay, so now, and I did uh, use some washi tape to kind of strengthen it, so you can do that if you want. I mean, washi tape is decorative and pretty. And then on the top of here, we want to decorate, and I did use a die cut that I had, which was a little fence. And then I doubled it a couple times to make it stronger. But, I mean, you could make your own fence, or you could, you know, depending on what your theme is. And then I also found this little seed packet I thought I'd put here. So, let's see. Do I want this over? Hmm. I don't know if I want it over and this way. I think I'll do it this way. And I just printed out, I think this this seed packet was from Studio 20 AD. You know, it depends what your theme is for your paper. Um, I'm just going to use something that's about three by four, actually, because I'm going to fold these down. And then I will, thinking of just gluing these together because then it would be more like a little pocket. And I'm gonna cut off the ends too. Is that what I wanna do? So that I could put the, put it in here. I think so, I think I'm gonna cut off Top of the C packet. And and then I'll like I'll glue them together because then you would have a pocket here. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I don't think I will. I might just leave this for something else. So now I can glue this first. I'm just going to glue the ends because I want to be able to put something in here. So I'm just going to glue the side here. And then this side. Like so, and then we'll place it 
down about here. And then we can add this. I'm thinking I need to ink it. We'll use some walnut stain. So we'll place that. Do we want it level or a little farther down? I'm thinking a little farther down. Like that. Okay. Okay. Let's place it down. That looks good. And then I was going to put this in here, but I think that's too big. I could cut it down or I could put it someplace else. We'll find something else there for that. Will this fit in here? No. I just have a tiny spot. I'll have to like find a little tiny ticket or tiny little tag for that you know, something small like that okay and I also wanted to show that you can always usually always fix something that you don't particularly like I did not like this envelope here let's see if I can find it yeah I tore it out so I just tore it out, which was this. See, I don't like that color. So this was the envelope that I had printed directly on. It was here. I didn't like it. It didn't go. So I just tore it out and I made my own envelope. So I just took the scrapbook paper and I just did a little, you know, template. Template on this side. And then I just put this inside the envelope, you know, so I could draw um, how to cut it before I glued it together. You know what I mean? I, I use this right here to trace. Then I just glued this little flap down. So I, I, uh, if you want to make your own envelope, it's about about five by nine and a fourth, the whole piece, and then I scored it at an inch, and then and then I took a punch, this punch here by Paper Studio, and I cut out a piece. Then I used just some packaging for the piece here. And um, then I just, I fussy cut this out and then this can go through in here like that. So I like that a lot better. And then I have this little piece, which I think I'll use here. Yeah, let's just glue that here. So then you have an extra little tuck right here. And I'll glue crossed here and this will now become a little tuck so you know if you think you make a mistake just try something else and look that looks nice in there I'll just put this little cut apart in here I want it I don't want to put it in too far because it needs to uh, dry first so then this will go like that, and that will go like this. I like that much better. And then it kind of goes with this, too. All right, so now um, we've added this here, and then this flips out more so we can decorate this part. And I used a little bag that I got from BB Craft. 
It's just one of these little bags. I mean, you could make your own bag, or you could just, it's three and a half by five and a fourth. You don't have to use a bag. And I'm just going to glue this. I think I'll just glue it on two sides so that this can also be a tuck here. Let me move this down, I'm sorry. So I'm just going to glue it on that side, these two sides, so that can be a tuck also. So I hope you're enjoying this, and if you have any questions or want me to do more tutorials, I hope I'm making it clear. Okay, then this will be here. little paper bag and then this is a tuck now and the tag that I put in and you know I'll come back and decorate it more the tag I put in the pocket depends on whatever you have there this one's three by five and a four fourth I have to ink it up and things but so I know I'll put that there I'll decorate this up later Okay, and then we're going to have this side. How am I going to put this all in here? This right here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a little, I think, some lace and paper. I got some lace. And some pretty paper and I think we'll add that here I'm gonna make this a little shorter and I think that's kind of pretty so this is what did we say five yeah five so I'm gonna to need to trim that a minute okay cut that down to five inches and then I'm going to Okay, this is going to be messy. Let's. I'm going to take my little lace and I'm going to glue it on top. I think I'll go this way. With some Fabri Tac, is what I used. I could trim this up. This is five by two and a half our pocket okay I'm just gonna trim this a little bit here don't glue up my scissors these are my favorite fussy cutting scissors these Westcott I think I got it Tuesday morning maybe one time titanium and this will go here, so just make sure you don't get it in the fold here. So we're going to just glue the three sides. Oops, yeah, like that, okay. Okay. That will go here. Looks good. <clears throat> and then we'll, we can add a couple tags in there. Maybe this was <clears throat> from Tsunami Rose digital and then maybe this little scrap of paper possibly all right we got that now we have this little flap that's on the other side of this paper bag one and make sure they still fold nicely okay and right here uh this was also from tsunami rose her little uh, <clears throat> folders and I'm 
gonna ink here. Okay, then I inked up this little folder and I'm going to glue this here, just the two sides. So it will become a tuck. And then I also want this to be a pocket. So I'm just going to glue the inside right here. It's too bad because I do like the inside of that, but I want it to hold things without them falling out. Okay. And there we have a two pockets. And I just cut a piece of, of this cardstock. I think around the corners. Oops. And we'll put, now we can put something behind here. This one. And we also can put some things in here. Right here, this pocket. So a couple things here. And then uh, what I also did was I took a tiny little envelope that was I got from BB Craft. These are uh, the four and a half by two and a fourth approximately. And I'm gonna put a little put a little digital a tsunami rose in there. That would be pretty. And then I just cut a little strip here that I'm gonna fold around here. <clears throat> this is uh, well it's whatever you want but this is about six by one and a half. So I'm going to glue that here so some little tickets can go in here, tucked in here. So I will glue this here. that there and now I can add some little tickets if I wanted to I do have this little envelope that I have a die for just like this that might be kind of cute in there so I'm thinking I will put that in there and then I can decorate this up more when it's time to do that so I think, yeah, I'll just put that in there for now. And this will go in here. So we have that. Now what we need to do is we've got that all, you know, as far as we're going to go with that. And we're going to do the next part, which will be a little flip here. So for this, we are going to take a piece of cardstock that measures. And I did get um, cardstock that has um, writing on both sides. This is seven and a fourth by five and then we're going to make a small little gusset here just one fold I believe or is it two just the one fold so we're just going to go here and we're just going to score at a fourth like that and then we'll just take that fold and this becomes our flip and we're going to put this 
right here along that fold, not on it, just above it, so that this will easily fold like that. So we're going to take this little folded piece, which we will glue. All right, that's a lot of glue. Just have that little folded piece. And we're going to line that up just before it folds, because we don't want it to catch in the fold. About like that. Let's see if that lines up. Well, I think it lines up. I might bring it over a little more. Okay, now we have this that flips like this. Now we're going to have this that flips like this. And we're going to add something here. What I chose was this little cut apart. You could use fabric, you could use a ticket. I'm just going to glue this little piece, and this measures three and a half by three and a fourth approximately. And I'm going to put that somewhat in the middle there. Just glue that down. And now I can add a couple uh, digitals. This is from a I think the paper pad, put that in, but not too close because I don't want to glue it in. So now we have that flip. And then we're going to have a booklet that will set here. And that's going to be here. It's just going to set, set in here. And then this will be folded over. So we'll do this in a minute. Uh, the next step is we need a little pocket here and that I think I'm going to use a little cut apart that will go like that this little cut apart or whatever it measures in here this one is five by whoops let's see yeah it's about five by about five square and this is going to be our pocket right here. We're almost at a half hour, but um, I think I'm going to slice these videos together. So this will just be one part with the pockets and things. And then the next one will be embellishing. And I think that would look real nice here. So I'm going to do three sides here. Glue it. Pocket right. I'll put that to the edge of that paper there. We'll see if that works. If not, I might have to come back and do fab fabric tack here on the fabric if the glue doesn't hold. So now we have a pocket, and then I have this cut apart from that paper pack that I'm using. We'll put that in here. Keep things simple. Yes. Ideally. That would be great. Our next one is going to be the flip down here. And how we're going to do that, we're going to use a piece of cardstock that will measure. I'm just going to keep this here. So, well, I guess I could take that off. Okay, this cardstock is going to measure. Oh, it looks like this is a little less than 12. That's about 12. Yeah, it's about 12 by your 5. And we're going to have another little gusset here. So let's make that. A 
and then it will fold up for a pocket too. So it's going to have a gusset net. So we're going to take this paper and we're going to score at six and a fourth. And then we're going to score at six and a half. And then you're going to have your little gusset like that. And then we'll flip it to this side, the other side. We're going to score at two and a half. And then, so we've got this pocket here, and then we've got a gusset here, and then this folds down. So we are going to add that. To here and we are going to this will also be a pocket here I believe is it or no no it's not okay so we are just going to glue this pocket shut Here, the side with a short fold. Like that. And you have your gussets here. So we'll turn that over. And I'm just going to glue on these two ends. Just in case I want to tuck something in here. So now we can put this wherever we want. Let's see, this is here and I kind of want this to fold over it. I want this paper to fold over. So let's line these up. Thinking that would work. Okay, you've got your gusset up here, that fold, and this will come over, and then you've got your pocket here. You know what, I think I had made a gusset here, but that's not necessary. We'll just use this as a pocket, it doesn't necessarily have to have a gusset here. So we've got a pocket here. And then we've got this coming folding down like so. And then I thought I would put a pocket on the top of this right here. So that would be pretty. This is a cut apart. So we're going to ink this real quick. glue on three sides so we have a pocket. So it's coming together nicely and this is whatever size you want it to be. This is four and a half by about four. So then we have a cute little pocket here and we can add things in this pocket. And then on this side, right here, we're going to have a little belly band at the top here going across. And I think I'm going to pick this little piece that I cut from the paper pack. And this measures five by whatever you'd like. I did five by three. And then we'll have a little belly band going across. Gonna put it this way. So 
So we got a little belly band there. And then we have a pocket here. So I think, yeah, I think on the other one, I had this where it flipped down, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to have this as a pocket here. So then we can put whatever we want here, maybe a claim check that fits. You can trim stuff too. Maybe a little while you are out. And then here, now I might have to cut this down. I have a little booklet. Or let's see, where else can I put it? Oh, I could put the booklet in here. This little booklet measures nine by two and a half. I just found some of this pretty stationary. Cut it. And then I sewed across it. And then just all you have to do is ink it up a little bit. And you have a cute little booklet it's from the, uh, scrapbook paper. So we have that. And so they have that that flips up. We have this belly band. So we have a pocket here. You have this flip pocket tuck. You have this. And then you have this. And this flips down too. And then you have another pocket. So that's what we have. That's not decorated. So uh, I think what we will do next is we will do some embellishing. So thanks for watching. And next time we are going to uh, decorate. Oh, I did forget one thing. And that was this booklet that we made that we're going to make right here. And this just sets right here. So this is measuring cardstock nine by six and a half about. And then I folded it in half and then I just added some papers that I have like coffee dyed, digital print, coffee dyed, doily, um, and then this pretty stationary. And then I'm just gonna run a stitch down the center. And then we'll have a little booklet that we'll set here. So I'll see you next time, and we're going to decorate. All righty. Bye-bye.